Friends, I'm embarrassed today to address a misguided action by current leaders at the SDA Theological Seminary. On Thursday, October 2021, the current seminary leadership held a meeting with students in which they advocated for ordination for women to the gospel ministry. However, the, the SDA Theological Seminary is a general conference institution. It's operated on behalf of and by the World Church. It is not operated to advocate for the private positions of employees or of North American division activists. In fact, three times in general conference session, it's been voted directly or indirectly this question about whether or not to ordain women of the gospel ministry. And once, of course, should have been enough. God has his eyes on his church, and through his Holy Spirit, he helps representatives in GC session to know and act on his will. When GC delegates voted on this question in 2015, you may remember the wording, quote, after your prayerful study on the ordination from the Bible, the writings of Ellen G. White, and the reports of the study commissions, and after your careful consideration of what is best for the church in the fulfillment of its mission, is it acceptable for division executive committees, as they may deem it appropriate in their territories, to make provision for the ordination of women to the gospel ministry, yes or no, unquote. Now, the voted response was strongly opposed to granting different sections of the world church authority to decide independently of the world body on a practice that does affect and impact the entire world body. Women's ordination of the gospel ministry was, was certainly not then approved. But on Thursday, the dean of the seminary taught students there that women should, quote, serve in all areas of ministry, unquote, which they meant to include in leadership. However, in the Bible, we find that not females, but males are called to be ordained to the eldership and thus to leadership in the gospel ministry. For example, in Titus chapter 1, Paul's instructions are for Titus to appoint elders in the churches who are males, who are blameless, who are the husband of one wife, and so on. It's kind of plain. The Bible warns us that in the last days, the church will be plagued by false teachers and that we're to contend for the faith once delivered to God's people. Since the seminary in Berrien Springs, Michigan is a general conference institution, that is, it is a world church institution, it is completely inappropriate for its leaders to advocate for teachings which they may think are new light, but which the church has repeatedly indicated by formal votes of delegates, no less, are not light at all. While serving in Idaho, I learned certain insects could cause structural damage to a building and that it is imperative that damage be addressed very quickly before it becomes irreparable. Meaning no disrespect to current leaders of the seminary. It's my personal belief that only workers should be appointed to lead there who are in harmony with the Bible teaching of the world church. I would like to kindly suggest to the GC Executive Committee that leadership be appointed to serve at the seminary, which is in harmony with the Bible teaching that elders should be spiritually qualified males. Let's solve this and get on with our global mission. Hey, God be with each listener and viewer.